That is one small step for a man. One giant vault for humanity. The important achievement of Apollo was demonstrating that humanity isn't ever chained to this earth and our fancies go rather further than that and our openings are unlimited. I put up my thumb and it flecked out the earth. I believe every human has a finite number of gifs. I do not intend to waste any of mine. Riddle creates wonder and wonder is the base of man's desire to understand. It suddenly struck me that that bitsy p, enough and blue, was the earth. I put up my thumb and shut one eye, and my thumb flecked out the earth earth. I did not feel like a mammoth. I felt veritably, veritably small. Houston, tranquility base then. The eagle has landed. It's a brilliant face in that sun. The horizon seems relatively close to you because the curve is so much more pronounced than then on earth. It's an intriguing place to be. I recommend it. I guess we all like to be honored and not for one piece of fireworks, but for the tally of our diurnal work. Science has not yet learned vaticination. We prognosticate too important for the coming time and yet far too little for the coming ten. I suppose we are going to the moon because it's in the nature of the mortal being to face challenges. It's by the nature of his deep inner soul. We are needed to do these effects just as salmon swim upstream. Exploration is wired into our brains. However, we want to know what is beyond. If we can see the horizon, I was enraptured, rapturous, and extremely surprised that we were successful. The stylish simulation I can imagine is to climb inside a space suit and have myself an external space experience. For those who may ask what they can do to recognize Neil, we've a simple request. Honor his illustration of service, accomplishment, and modesty. And the coming time you walk outdoors on a clear night and see the moon smiling down at you, suppose of Neil Armstrong and give him a wink. Thank <laughs> you.